In this lesson, I'm going to introduce you to the process of creating and selecting appropriate visual displays. Let's return to the definition of visual design. Visual design is the mapping of data to visual form. The objective is to convey the unique properties of the data set it represents. In this lesson, we're going to review several different chart types that help us convey our message. Take a look at these charts. What do they have in common? Well, you'll notice they show a relationship between points. What do these charts have in common? They compare a set of values. And these? Well, you notice that the line graph and the stacked area graph track rises and falls over time. How about the pie chart and the tree map? What do they have in common with each other? Well, these are different ways that we can represent seeing parts of the whole. And these charts? Well, they clearly show a relationship between words. Take a look at these two maps. What do they have in common? They show a comparison of regions by location. As you observe, there are many ways you can visualize your data. The challenging task is communicating a powerful message through a chart that your audience can easily interpret. So you should really think about the actual display of your data through a visualization as just a single step in a process that begins with thinking about who is going to be interpreting your visual, meaning who's your audience. Next, you need to determine what it is that you want to communicate. We'll call this the task, such as changes in buying habits of teenagers over the past 25 years. Then take a look at your data. Study it. What kind of data do you have? These questions will drive your display. Let's explore this a little further. Do you have categorical data? Can your data be grouped by people, places, or things? Do you have time series data? Does your data have an element of time present? Years, hours, minutes, seconds? Do you have spatial data? Can you show locations of physical places and the connections between them? Does your data contain multiple variables? Distributions, do you want to see where any one variable is clustered and note the outliers? Do you want to see the median, mean, min, max, and range? The point is to explore your data. What do you want to know about it? Return back to the audience and the task to help inform the optimal visual display. These questions, who's the audience, what's the task, what's the data, and what's the best visual display, are those questions you should be asking. The next step is for you to apply the process and work with the problems that accompany this tutorial.